Good morning, Gracians. Welcome again to Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Peter, one of the regional pastors in Grace Assembly. Today, we are on day 29 of our 40-day prayer for Singapore. As you join us daily, I believe you are cultivating a daily habit of prayer that will help you grow strong in the Lord. The title of today's sharing is Anti-Cross and we'll be reflecting on Philippians chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Let's read it together. It says, Brethren, join in following my example, and note those who so walk as you have us for a pattern. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you, even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame who set their mind on earthly things. Now having encouraged the Philippians to live for Christ and press on towards the goal that Christ had ordained for them, Paul closes the chapter with some serious warnings. He pleaded with them to follow his example of pursuing Christ rather than being enemies of the cross of Christ as some were. But who were the anti-cross people? Scholars believe that he wasn't referring to pagans who didn't believe in Jesus. Instead, it's more likely they were professing Christians whose lives were so depraved that Paul considered them a danger to the church. They indulged in sensual appetites without restraint, only caring to please their fleshly cravings. They boasted in their depravity which ought to bring shame. They cherished worldly things, setting their affections wholly on physical and material things. And the sobering truth is that all these inevitably end in destruction and death. Now, Today's lesson is a heavy one, but nonetheless important. Deep introspection is in place. Were there times when I cast off all restraint to indulge in certain lusts? When I sin, am I filled with godly sorrow or am I indifferent to the shame it brings? Do I pursue and cherish the things of God or the things of the world? Let's follow Paul's example and cherish Christ above all else. Would you join me to pray a prayer of transformation right now? The prayer pointers will be on the screen. First, let's pray for ourselves to cherish Christ above everything else. And then let's pray for our family that our parents will be role models of godliness. And then let's pray for nation where we plead for God's mercy and repent on behalf of Singapore for moral depravity. I'll give you some time to pray over these items yourselves before leading you in a prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me enough to send me these warnings through Paul's letter. Help me not to indulge in the lust of the flesh. I repent and turn away from my lust, pride, worldliness and materialism. I choose instead to cherish you, Jesus, and place all my affections on you. Father, please help all the parents in grace to be godly role models so that children can follow their example. May you do a work so deep in their hearts that their children will see a visible and obvious transformation in their lives that will inspire them towards Christ-likeness. And God, please have mercy on our nation. Forgive us of our materialism, idolatry, our lust, our sexual sins, our self-centeredness and all other anti-cross behaviors we have shown. We ask for the transformation of Singapore into a godly nation by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Grace Every Morning. If you have been blessed, do share this video with others. You may visit the Love Singapore 40-day prayer website for the written devotional and gather your family to pray for Singapore this week. Have a blessed day.